is a true white man like having sex a lot. It's him walking with another girl. I feel like one way or the other come across race issues. There's of disapproval. To move to South Africa to be with the love of my life. I'm originally from the Netherlands. This is like the original Fortreka. <laughs> I got myself original boot. <laughs> I was invited in Nigeria to go and perform. And then my friend, she used to study in South Africa. She's Nigerian, so she invited me to a party. She's like, friend, my boyfriend is having a family party. And as we are seated, we see this interracial couple walking in. <laughs> it's him walking with another girl. And then I found myself sitting next to him. Well, I was in Nigeria for, for business because of, you know, they want to take care of you. He's like, I don't worry, I take care of girl for you. So I tell him like, hey, my friend, it's not that kind of a party, right? We have been together ever since. Yeah. <laughs> we started off with long distance. I mean, when I left uh, Nigeria after that business trip, which, which was only a week, and then we did long distance for three months. And then for three months, I came to SA just to check it out. Okay, you know, how is, how is life here? So yeah, I just wanted to check that out. I think also, ladies, don't give up the cookie until you see the commitment, okay? <laughs> I don't know, had I given him the cookie in Nigeria, would he have been in South Africa? Uh, <laughs> uh, if one push comes to shove. But it, once yeah. you go black... Uh, you never go back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, this man relocated his entire life, okay? Like, respect that. And there's nothing more attractive than that. Well, apart from his height <laughs> and his gorgeous blue eyes and his dimple, <laughs> I think his heart, like, he is a pure gem. And my daughter absolutely loves him. So I think that was like an added bonus, the fact that they get along so well. So my mind was completely somewhere else. And now you're thinking, like, you've met someone you clearly like, but how is this going to play out? Because first of all, it's not... I'm from the Netherlands, she's not from Germany or Belgium, a neighboring country. No, she's from the other side of the world. 12 hours in a flight is a massive distance. So obviously your mind is just playing or, or working over hours to try and, and find a solution with regards to that, which thankfully, you know, we found it. I think the, the biggest culture shock for me in the early stages of our relationship, it was the amounts of heads that turn when they see us. It was a lot when people saw us together. So sometimes you'd see that some people are proud of him for having like, you know, this thick black woman. <laughs> and so you'd see like, you know, like some men would be, you know, saluting him like, yo, you know, but people from his side of the world, you could almost see stares of disapproval. I think when it comes to that side, I mean, also with him, there were some of his friends who were like a black woman, you know, okay, fine, if you're into black women so much, why don't you find one who stays here in the Netherlands or whatever. So for them, it was, oh, you now you're into black women, you, you know, so it was a thing of color and some had questions, they had doubts, and they were obviously curious. <laughs> curious, I think that's the right answer. <laughs> But I mean, on social media, you get like angry people who don't even know you and they'll just be cussing and staring at you because you're with a white man. And people are really curious about our sex life. I don't know why. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> or maybe your friends. <laughs> no, remember the lady at the airport oh, as well? Oh yeah, 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 I'm sure. <laughs> They just want to know, like, they'll be asking me, how is it, like, is it true white men like having sex a lot? I know what Lobola is. Of it's course the, he knows the, what Lobola is. It's... You think you'll go to my family in the Eastern Cape and they don't have that talk? <laughs> <laughs> it's part of your, of the tradition, obviously. And I think it's a, a good way of showing uh, family that, you know, you also, besides marrying her off, it's, it's also showing respect to the culture and the tradition of, of that culture. Whether you, you know, I, I mean, a bride price and paying for a bride is, <laughs> is something that I, I don't, yeah, it doesn't happen a lot in the Netherlands anymore, but you know, it's just a way of showing respect 
and it's a cool thing i think you know just walk into a village and you know have like a, a couple of cows or whatever walking behind you rather than the the, the money thing you get you get me can you see his vision he yeah, wants actual yeah, yeah, cows yeah, i'll bring the cows I'll bring, I'll bring the cows <laughs> <laughs> then naledi met her name twin they both got into trouble in their homes so my man over here he had traveled so first of all, we move into a new place. Um, he makes sure that we're settled and everything. And then he has to travel for work. The day he comes back, I meet a delivery guy. I'm like, ah, I'm getting flowers. And then I walk into the house and there he is, he's downstairs. He's like, oh, you're just in time for your flowers. And I'm like, oh, thank you, baby. And he's like, they're not for me. I'm like, I'm an. <laughs> I'm like, someone likes to play. He's like, no, they're not for me. I'm like, Psh, whatever. I go to the flowers and it just had a card saying the lady. And then I'm like, and okay. the funny thing, it was like, what, a hundred white roses. Yeah. It was a beautiful, it was a beautiful, beautiful bouquet, bouquet. Yeah. right? And then now I see he's like getting really upset, like he's not kidding. So uh, with the card, obviously, there's the name of the florist. So he's like, you better find out who sent you those flowers. So of course, you already know what this looks like. And then I call them at the florist and I'm like, hi, my lady here. Um, I received flowers. They're like, yeah, they are for you. I'm like, who are they from? And then they say, we were given um, specific instructions, which were don't tell her under any circumstances who the flowers are from. And I'm like, is he playing a joke on me or something? You know, like I genuinely don't know. And at this point I'm like, I get baby, I don't know. Anyway, you know what? I'm gonna take the vase you bought for me, put these nice flowers in them. Okay, these are beautiful flowers. I didn't, were, yeah. I was not gonna throw them away. Okay. <laughs> now she was even posting on her WhatsApp status yeah, like, like, please, you know, the person that sent me this, please just, yourself. yeah, just refill yourself because yeah. it didn't get messy. At no, all. it yeah. didn't, yeah. And <clears> then now, um, it's it's now a Friday, we're meeting up with some friends from church and now they start saying, oh, no, maybe it's one of your friends. They want you guys to fight or maybe one of the neighbors has a crush on you. Like, And now I'm thinking, there's two friends that have been here. So like now I'm like, between the two of them, like which of them would take 2,000 rand and send me flowers all in the name of trying to make us fight? And then I'm like, yeah. So now he's like calm about it. Now he's seeing it in a different way. And now this whole flower thing is forgotten. One day, our agent calls and then they're like, hi, the lady. I'm like, yes, they're like, mm, you're missing some payment, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, excuse me? They're like, oh, sorry, wrong the lady. I'm like, wait, there's another the lady that stays here? They're like, yeah. Um, I'm like, what's her house number? And they gave me her house number. I'm like, thanks. I went to the girl's house, knocked on the door. I'm like, I'm the lady. I'm the lady. She's like, oh God, you're the lady? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I received us. She was like, no ways. My boyfriend and I broke up because of these flowers. <laughs> My man sent me flowers because he was testing, trying to see who else is sending me flowers. <laughs> and now I didn't call him to say thank you for the flowers. So he was like, so it's clear you have other boyfriends. So that was the flower story. <laughs> Does race affect them in their home? What about their daughter? Is she aware that we are of two different racial backgrounds? She knows that when I go to mommy, I speak Kosa. When I go to daddy, I speak English. So it's very clear from that. And for her to feel like she needs to almost prepare her friends before they meet her dad and let them know that my dad is white. So it means that obviously she knows. And I'm sure chances are someone has made a comment to her with regarding to why is your dad white, you know, and you're not white, you know, or, or whatever the case may be. So I think maybe that's just her way of dealing with it of which I, she doesn't owe anyone an explanation, but she's only six. So how do you instill that in her? You just let her be until she gets to a stage where she understands that I don't need to explain that to anyone. So as she is right now, would I tell her 
uh, you shouldn't be seeing color or blah blah no that's our everyday reality we live in a world where color is an actual thing